right. So this, um, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to play Bluebird by Miranda Lambert. It's such a pretty song, and I have a student learning it, so I'm like, well, might as well make a tutorial for it as well. Uh, so we're going to start with the basic chord progression that is in the verses and the courses. Uh, pretty much the whole song is just three chords over and over again, and then there's one chord in the instrumental part that's different. Uh, but let's, we gotta have our capo on the second fret for this one. <laughs> and we are starting with an A minor chord, then it goes to a C chord, then we're gonna play an F, and then just back to C. So that is the main progression of the song. So the rhythm, the strumming pattern, we're gonna be plucking up, sorry, pluck down, and then it's up, up. Then you go to C, down, up, up, F, down, up, up, and C, down, up. And that is the strumming pattern. So if you have trouble with that F bar chord, you could, you could also just play the small F and just pluck the fourth string instead of the sixth string to get that same sound. So we're going A minor, C, F, C. So it's like down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. So one. So I'm adding also a little bit of a mute in between the two ups, so it just kind of saves our beat there because we're going down on one, up on two, pause on three, and then up on four. Or we could do the ends, it's one and two and as well, so we're going down one, up on end, pause on two, up on end. Those are just a couple different ways to count it, so we're either going one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Or you can count it one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and or with the other F one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so this is the whole song playing that chord progression over and over again until we get to the little instrumental part so the instrumental part uh, it's the same thing Or on the second time, we're just gonna go to a G and hold it. So you do it twice and then you just land on a G. And then the rest of the song is exactly the same, going back to that A minor C, F, C. So sometimes when I'm playing, instead of just strumming with my pick, I'm using my fingers to kind of pluck the other strings as well. So that's another way to do it. I find it just gets a little bit of a softer sound to it as well. Um, so those are the main parts of the song. So it's just those three chords until the instrumental part and it has that. So at the beginning of this video, I was also playing a little bit of the, the picking part in, in the intro. Um, so I'm just gonna go over what I was doing there. So uh, I'm taking my A minor chord and I'm just going up on strings four, three, two, and then it's four, two is the pattern. So you can do it finger picking or I'm just doing a little hybrid picking. You can even if, do it flat picking as well if you want. Um, I'm just gonna do it picking and with my finger it's a little bit. So I'm going between the different parts. Uh, but yeah, so we have our four, three, two, four, two, and then we just lift that finger. This is kind of our C chord, but we're just playing the bottom of the C chord and our bottom three strings. And we're gonna go three, two, one, three, one, and then we're doing just a little baby F chord, and we're doing our strings two, three, so we're starting on two, so we're gonna go two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, three, four, <laughs> and then you just strum your C. So that's that little. And that kind of happens in between, I believe, the choruses and the verses as well. It's just a little extra picking if you wanted to try looping it or if you're jamming the song with somebody else. It's just something different to play. And that little, 
little little riff I did. Uh, that's just sliding from your third fret, so I'm counting from the capo uh, this whole time. So, but third fret to the fifth fret and back again. So you're gonna slide up, down, down, up. And then just hitting that E string open. And that's basically the whole song. Uh, most, the rhythm parts, uh, we could do actually the little instrumental part too, just like an easy, easy, ver sorry, easy version of the, of, let's just do that to finish it off. So you, then you have kind of all the pieces of it. So when it goes into the little instrumental part, uh, the notes that they're playing, I think it's a little bit, maybe played a little different than this, but I will show you what the notes are if you want to just kind of play around with it on the acoustic. So we're starting on an A note. So that's second fret, third string. And then we go to our first fret, second string. Oh, sorry, then it's E string open. So two, one, zero. Then we're going to play the third fret of the first string. And then we're sliding up to the fifth fret, back to the third fret, open, third fret of the second string. So that's the first part. It starts the same. We're going two, one, zero, three, five. Then we're going back to three. Then now we're going to play the first fret and then your open string. And then that's when it goes to the G. And this also happens. It's exactly the same thing at the end of the song, but instead of landing on the G, you're just going to land on the A minor. So I'll play that whole thing. Um, as the end of the song, so when the song ends. <laughs> I almost can't, I missed up the video. Down, the open, and then just there. <laughs> I forgot where it was for a second. Uh, but that's how it, the song would end, and that's basically all the pieces of Bluebird. So I have it all there for you. Uh, but if you want to stick to just the chords and singing, it's super easy and fun, which is great. All right. So anyway, that's it for this week's tutorial and we'll see you next time.